Hey everybody, welcome to the Gourmet Bomb Vivant. My name is Kara, and I figured it was about time I started showing my face around here every once in a while. So thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited that you made it to my channel. And if you like what you see, please consider subscribing or hitting the like button for more content like this. Today, I am really, really excited because we're going to be making one of my all-time favorite cocktails, which is the Manhattan. It's an absolute classic, and if you're a whiskey lover, you're going to want to keep watching because I'm going to show you everything you need to know to be able to make this from home. And the best part is, it's so incredibly easy. So stick around. So there are really only three main ingredients that you need for a Manhattan. That's vermouth, whiskey, usually rye whiskey, um, but honestly, if you're not a purist, you can use whatever you have on hand and Agnostura bitters is the last thing. And then of course, you should really be garnishing it with a brandy cherry on top. But again, super easy to make, let's get going. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our vermouth to a cocktail mixer. And again, if you don't have one of these, it's not that big of a deal. You can mix it in pretty much any Tupperware or bowl or whatever that you have around the house. You really just need to mix it with ice. That's the whole point of what's going on here. So we're gonna add one ounce of that. Next up, we're going to do, oh, wait a minute. I did two ounces of that. It looks like we're making a double. So we're gonna add um, four ounces of whiskey. There we go. And yes, you might've noticed I'm actually using bourbon, so don't tell anyone. Then we're going to mix this whole thing up, get it nice and cold. Okay, that should be good. And left my strainer way too far out of reach. You just pour. For the final touch, we add two dashes of Agnostura bitters. You can literally, oh yeah, just put that right in the glass. Mine is flying everywhere right now for some reason. There we go, <laughs> bit back under control. And finally, like I said, and this is probably my favorite part, is the brandy cherry. And it's so good to eat after it's been sitting in the booze for like the whole time you've been having the drink. So. There you have it. Let's give this a try. Mm. It is so good. It's really booze forward and it would be because there's only booze in here. <laughs> it's literally whiskey and vermouth. But on top of that, it's just such a great flavor. It reminds me of winter so much. Um, I love drinking these around Christmas time as well. I think they're perfect for that. And yeah, I think you're gonna love this. So let me know what you think in the comments. 